All right, let's watch this. Who's this? Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? <sighs> you. Oh, you. it's that girl. Tyrea, what are you doing here? She's the one who wanted You're to. Hurt. Do not touch me, vile girl. Wow. Watch it. Oh. Oh. Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> it looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan. Come on, why me? Please. Huh. Huh. Is she okay? Haha, <laughs> look at Ricky. Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, that's not what I meant. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. The pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. That may be what kept her safe. Or perhaps... Maybe perhaps she's what? half Homs. No. It's nothing. She's half Homs. Something about this makes me hey. feel uneasy. Look at Ricky! I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she Whoa. hate you so much, Melly? Oh my god, the glasses. You're both high end here. Is being pure blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. You don't mean Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callian after I returned from the tomb. Wait, this is her stepsister? Mother of the Inquisitors. A secretive organization operating in the shadows. You know, we didn't hear household. about her mother the rest of the game. The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. Oh. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callian's half sister? That's right. Oh. Then isn't she in the same position as you? <gasps> mm hmm. That is correct. Tyrea, you're awake. <laughs> Wait, what? I had more right to the throne. They share the than she same brother. Did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure blooded high end here, who would build the future of our people. But you. You are a hypocrite. Just like me. Dang. If we are honest, what is the difference? You two would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you two are nothing but an assassin. What? <laughs> no, she's not, girl. You're wrong. I'm. I don't buy that for a second. Ryan. Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Ain't you? You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. Dang. How dare you? No home speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. You don't have the faintest idea why Melia's been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Aww. Succeeding the Imperial line Ryan ain't is so blood. supportive. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, <clears> for your <throat> people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. How dare you? Both of you, stop this. This is no time for pointless bickering. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you, you need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh. Oh, so she's gonna be in the DLC? Wow! Oh, how much more? Oh, oh, this is a pretty long cutscene. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Shots fired, for real. 
Ah. Hi, Me, Blue. Envious. I only think of my people. What is that? Ooh, it's so sparkly. Yeah, walk into it. It's gonna turn her into a telepathy. Oh. Oh, it's a telepathy. Uh. Eh? <gasps> what is going on? It's a very unique quest. It's the only one whose voice. You would think that if it was so important, they would make it a mandatory thing to do. What's going on? I don't appreciate that. Look, over there. The colony. Wait, it's all burned. Telethia. Did Telethia do all of this? What the heck? Guys, huh. she's gone. Tyria, yeah, this is a side mean. quest. Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. Good morning, what? Broski. There's no time now. We must pursue it. Huh. It must be Tyrea after all. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? There's no time to think about it. Ready yourselves. It must be Tyrea after all, but it's not. Unless it ate her. Shulk, I must... I know. Stop! Oh, Tyrea! You're safe! You do realize... that Telethia... is Eumea. Oh! <gasps> Eumea? I was pursuing Eumea. Even oh. though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. Dang! Why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Everyone has their own beliefs, and what they believe is their own choice. Yumea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yumea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... So Yumea is, is her mom, right? Melia. Why? Father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, Yumea is your birth mother. Yep, there we go. Just double checking that I understood. There is no need for you to carry out such an unpleasant task. Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your... This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. Aww. She literally has to kill her stepmom? I mean, no offense, her stepmom was not a nice lady. <laughs> not that she deserves this, but... I don't Well, maybe she does. She literally almost tried to kill her. Gosh dang! Gosh dang! Tyrea, I believe you and I are alike. Alike? Never vile So sour. So sour. My gratitude for assisting you, Mayor. I mean, mother. Who is the dad then? Oh my gosh, they can fly with their head. What? I didn't know that. I didn't. Tyrea. What? I didn't know they could fly 
with their wings on their head? I thought they were just decoration. <laughs> they can fly. They can fly. Well, I didn't know they could fly. Is she going to I've never okay seen them fly. She'll be all right. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It does look kind of funny. <laughs> Melia, what did you mean just now? When Is you that why you her little feathers are so small? Because she's Tyria half. must be half Homs, just like me. What? Oh, but the that's what I thought. Yeah. Not See? all half-blooded high end here have small wings. Ah! Only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded high end here. Dominant and recessive inheritance. Ah. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you may knew this would happen? Perhaps. Interesting. You may have knew this would happen? She had to have known. At least, that's what I believe. She was her mother after all. She must have been aware. Yes. Aww. That was such a good cutscene. Why do they make that stuff be side quests? That's beyond me, man. That was really good. Aw, so, okay, so they kill Yumea in a nice way, I guess. And then we learned that Tyrea is, I need to write that down. So Tyrea is Amelia's half-sister? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Um... <clears throat> And Tyrea was the one that tried to kill her because she was instructed by her mother to do it. Melia's... Wait, no. Well, it's still... It's her... It's not... Okay, it's not her half-sister. It's like her... Stepsister. It's her stepsister. That's it. It's Callian's half-sister. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Um, got it. Yumea's daughter. Okay. <clears throat> Stepsister, yes. The bird people, of course they can fly. I mean, I haven't seen... I haven't seen them fly before. So that was kind of funny. It's not how physics works. <laughs> um, I believe both are daughters of Sor Sorian. Sorian? Uh, Sorian? Who's Sorian? Oh, 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 derp. The old man. Uh, uh, Tyrea? I don't, uh, well, you would think that Sorian would, um, yeah, I know, he's the emperor. Do you think Sorian knew about Tyrea? It seemed like she was kept a secret. It could be. No, because she's half. And he was pure blood. And she was pure blood. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It, can't, it couldn't be. Because she's literally saying that she's half Homs. Just like Melia is. So we don't know, I think, the, the identity of Tyrea's dad. We just know the mom. <clears throat> Bye, us. Have a good day. We told you they're real interesting side quests two per member of the party that they all unlock new skills but this one is a bit more special by being voiced yeah i like that it's voiced um i still think that they shouldn't make important things like that be side quests side quests should literally just be like the quests that are like oh go fetch this go fetch that those are side quests these are like main these are like character development quests i feel that's just my opinion. Obviously, I'm wrong. And I could talk to you guys until I'm blue in the face about why I'm not doing side quests in this game. I'm so tired of talking about it. So I'm just going to keep playing and moving along. All right. I forgot. Zang, did you tell? Did you change the category? I didn't see if you said anything or not. So we're going to play the Futures, Futures Connected. Futures Connected. We're going to play Futures Connected DLC. Yes? Okay, thank you. Anyways, thank you, Sully, for showing me that. I'm guessing that's pretty pretty darn important for this. Why does the 
Volume sounds so quiet. Maybe it's just the screen. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Future connected. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, let's start. Future connected. Shall we? Ooh. <laughs> uh, this one is available right after the death of Shulk at the entrance of Colony 6. You can't miss it. You just walk outside. I Obviously, I missed it. <laughs> Oh, since I went to for him, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I missed it. Being you may as child, she is also Callian's half sister. Melly is also Callian's half sister through their father. But Tyrae and Melly do not share share parents that are not directly related. Yes. Um. <clears throat> uh. Yeah. I I unpaused it, Zang. I'll wait. You can test something out right now, but then I'm gonna pause it because I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene right now. Okay, so, all right. Is there anything else I really need to, I need to know from the side quest in Xenoblade? That was just a pretty big one. I mean, it's voice after all, so you know that it's gonna be important. <clears throat> um, that's from the Xenoblade wiki, the fandom one at least. Well, there, that seems correct from what we just learned, so. You should be good? Okay. I can pause now? Okay. Thank you. Music got louder. All right. Let's sh let's start. Future Connected. Um, new game. New game. That, that symbol. Today, we use our power to fell a god. Oh, it's giving us a recap of what happened yesterday. Yes, him getting the true Monado. This was crazy. That was such a hard fight. <laughs> I'm happy I did it. All that I am it felt so overwhelming. Fading. It's the so satisfying in the end. Born from the chaos of creation. I still find it crazy that Alvis was a computer this whole time. What are you looking at? So crazy. Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Hmm. I remember. One year later. Oh, we're starting a year later. <sighs> Is he just like looking around? <gasps> oh, there's the there's the capital. There it is. Melia. We're in sight of Alchemoth. All right. I'm on my way. Whoa! Whoa! Why does she sound different? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! They're being attacked. Oh, her outfit's changed. Uh... Both of their outfits have changed. Cute. <laughs> Cute. Wait, why were they attacked? Who attacked? Ooh, this is nice. Seems really peaceful. Except those bones over there. Oh. It's 
So this is just a floating island now? I'm guessing. I wonder who that is. I wonder if we know. If we're gonna learn more about the... Who the Telethia is. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it looks so different. It is a floating island. Whoa, that Okay, that was cool. <laughs> okay, now we know what it looks like. <laughs> Wow, so peaceful. Yeah. Guess we're still in one piece. <sighs> Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. But who? The junks. Can it fly? Some oh no, did we sustained heavy damage? No, we crashed it. Until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Sister Pond? Take care of it. She no handle left side. Not you. Oh my god, what is this? Those voices. Uh, are those? There's no pun? Are they fighting? Oh, they're being attacked. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's cute. Oh my god. What? Wait. What are they doing here? Why do they have ribbons? Oh my god. Are those Ricky's kids? I don't think I've met them yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so sweet. Yeah, what are they doing up here? What in the world? Um, I had to shuffle some around. Basically made Asinian the default bit alert. Mm, I don't think we should make Asinian be the default bit alert. It should be like a certain amount. Um, and we should just add it to like the list so people know which one. I don't think... I want the rupees to be default. Um, I played the side quest. Yeah, the Tyrea one is more of... They find out Tyrea is a halfling and she begins re reconciling with Melia. Kind of reconciling. Um, activate casual mode again. Oh, okay. How do I do that? For one, for whatever reason, there is one main plot thread in the DLC that turns into a side quest at the last second. Really? Hi, Silent. I know, I love the new outfits. They look so pretty. Hi, Roglev. Good morning. She sounds off at the beginning, but gets better. Okay, yeah. It sounded really weird at the beginning. Couldn't see them well because of your cam? Well, good. You're gonna see them really soon then, because they're so cute. <laughs> You'll see them. <laughs> I can flip it around, haven't properly saved it yet. It's okay, we can talk about it later. We don't want to talk about this right now. Gameplay differences. Some elements of this new adventure are very different from the adventure so far. The most major points will be introduced on the following pages. The party gauge, okay. As you progress through the adventure, instead of chain attacks, you will unlock all an all-new system for perform, performing all-out attacks. Okay. Your... Your... Is that Fiora? Is that Fiora? Look how long her hair is. <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you progress through the adventure, instead of... Oh, wait. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll still require a segment of the gauge to revive fallen allies. In the new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. This calls for more caution than before when it comes to your enemy's most powerful attacks. Ah, okay. No more future reading. Some allies will battle in ways not present before. The skill tree system has been removed. There are further changes, so keep an eye out as you play. Okay. Interesting. Um... Okay, 
There we go. Okay, I turned it on. Okay. All right, let's go save them. Where are they? Hold on, wait, where are they? It wants me to go this way? They were over here? Ooh, swimming. Swimming! Um, it, it might be good to check your Monado arts. Um, yeah, you're right. Is it the same stuff? Like, do they keep this the same stuff from my last game? It l looks like it, but it looks like the levels are all different. Okay, it looks like I, ke I can keep everything. But we just can't level right now yet. Okay. <laughs> Wait, they probably moved it around though, didn't they? No, it's the same. It's the same that I had. Oh wait, no, not this one. Oh, you're right. No, it's not the same. Okay, hold on. Summon copy is there. What did I have? I had... What did I have again? I had Mind Blast and then Burst End, right? There we go. I just wanted to get rid of the sleeping one. Um, and these all look the same too. Yeah, these are all the same. Okay, so we're good. You don't keep the progress, but it's the same arts. Okay. Did I do something wrong? I did. Just hitting A instead of B. Alright, where are they? Oh my god! We're gonna see them! That's so cute! I'm guessing this was a side quest. And you got to meet Ricky's kids. How cute! Go rescue the emergency... Food? They're mean, Locus! I have two new ones. Oh, I do? Am I blind? Where? Oh, are you meaning for Melia? That one's not new. I don't feel like that one's new. Maybe they're new. Maybe I'm just not recognizing them. It's okay. Oh my god, Melia's outfit is freaking adorable. Oh, Monado Arts. Oh. I'll check it in a second. Ah! Oh my god, they're so cute! They're so cute! Are you hurt? Let us help too. Miss Melia, Mr. Shulk! Her eyes are so cute and sparkly! Aww. Is she, does she have a familiar voice actor? That I know? She kind of sounds like somebody from Final Fantasy XIV. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> they don't have the pineapple hair yet. Maybe they're, they do when they're grown up. <laughs> they have to like blow it into it. Or grow into it. Oh my god, this is so cute. I can play as them. Look at Nene and Kino. Hey, I want both of them in the party. Get out of the way, Shulk. Hold on, let's see. Hold on, I want to see this Monado that you're talking... Oh, you're right. Eater and armor. Ah. Power consumes enemies, including any buffs. Reduces physical and ether damage. Gotcha. Okay, hold on. What is Mele or Nene and Kino? I'm getting their names confused already. Oh my god, it has a bow! <laughs> Look at her glad taunt. Look at her taunt. <laughs> it has a bow on it. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's kind of like Ryan. Ryan has a lot of these skills. And so does Dunben. The heck? Okay. Oh, and he's a healer! Ah, he's a healer! Doze off, diffuses the feeling of panic from overusing arts. Oh no, is that like Sharla's like cooldown? Ugh. So Nene, yeah, it feels like no, Nene is like Ryan, I feel. And then Kino reminds me of Sharla. Yeah. Definitely like Sharla. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. I love it. Oh my god, look at the names of the arts. Hold on. Healy Bullet. Heal Kaboom. Heal Round Around. Cure Thingamy. <laughs> Curity Pure Round. Shield Clang. Healy Counter. Toasty Hot Bullet. <laughs> Aurora Aurora. Aurora Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> bullet. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Crackle bullet, tranquil snooze, yogurt stance, what? B -b boost Little blast egg shaker, noggin shot. Oh my god, there is so many. Um These are these is this is named the same. Hangry? <laughs> There's one called Hangry. Oh my god. That's so cute. If only there were Kino and Nene plushies available. I know! They're so sweet! Their arts are the same as Ryan and Charlotte's. Attack names are just different. Yeah. So cute! Ah! Okay, we're gonna play with this group. Oh my god, I love them so much already. Okay, let's fight. I think I'm understanding her more. Wait, oh wait, that's water. We need to change that out. Oh my god, they're so sweet! <laughs> no point art names are so cute. Look at the little flower on his head. It like bounces. That was amazing, you two. <laughs> it was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. Oh my god! No injuries, Kino. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it like that? Kino, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. <gasps> oh really? Oh my god. Most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> take personally. Oh my god. Here, there is a risk of another attack. They're so cute. We should move to a safer location. They're so cute. Very well. I can't. Is this acceptable? I can't Let tolerate it. Oh, look at her outfit. <laughs> right. Let's go. <laughs> so cute. Does he have a tree and a pot as his weapon? Wait, what? What was that? Oh my god. <sighs> what is that red thing over this there? This place looks promising. We can take a break here. Oh, oh my god, I love them. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how? Did you even get here at all? Like her little bows. <laughs> he hides behind her. About that. Where's Ricky? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? They snuck up on the junks. Oh my god. Naughty, naughty, no pun. Where's Ricky? Ricky need to give him a scolding. <laughs> Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So... Ah. So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zamz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize <laughs> that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. 
How did they know that there would be people there? They're all Telethia, I think. Unless maybe they're half homes there. We could be there and back in less than half a day. I wonder why they say may, may, may. I know why the little one does, but the girl? <laughs> His face is so like. <laughs> <laughs> the no pawn are shaped a lot like the air your air fryer <laughs> what <laughs> Kino, maybe better to explain <laughs> we just on little strolly stroll when we suddenly hear voices now now Kino Nene watch Kino with eyes of Rogel Kino follow Mr. Shope from behind and do some sneak peekings Sneak peeking. Sister Pong followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me me me. So you stayed away like I thought. For what for? I cannot get over this. Always look up to Dead Upon. Want to become mighty Hero Upon too. Oh. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. Oh God. How did that lead to you boarding our vessel? Uh, an opportunity to help people who in trouble. Uh, that way, can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. <laughs> They're so cute, oh my god. It's not the fault of Sister Pon. You were alone. It's true. One day, out of blue, Dead Upon bring Kino home. Said, here is Breath Upon. Oh! That day, nobody made comments. Everyone except Kino. Ah! Kino, what happy they could say. That boy, that boy. Oh! Now they want to become Hero Upon. Ah! <laughs> Why is it so cute? Oh my god! Do your family honor. Uh, Yours is a most noble sentiment. That's so sweet. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Eh. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For oh, really? Uh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, you know, master, you really twist wing. You really twist a wing. Kino, wrong word. Supposed to say friends. <sighs> well, that was very wholesome and adorable. That was feels good, man. That was cute. That was very. I love this. So, we'll be <laughs> oh my god! To, to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? <laughs> that was so cute. Again, Explain. do it again. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Volcano! It all starts here! Mahay! <laughs> Mahay! Ricky is the best daddy pawn. I agree. Ugh, I started crying because it was so cute. Ugh. Um, it's just a character tick. Oh, that's why they say me, me, me. Ah, 
cute, a uh, fun, cute fact. Ricky offers to Shulk to become his daddy. Are you kidding? Ricky says that to Shulk? Uh, is that a heart to heart? Oh my god, he says that to Shulk? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Is this why he has so many kids? <laughs> oh my god. When the no-pods graduate, the ceremony will become a keynote speaker. Oh, keynote speaker. That's cute, Lucas. Oh. Alright, yeah, Kino, I think we're gonna make Kino be the next hero pawn. That was so sweet. Oh, event theater. The event theater has been added. Okay, so we can just re- Oh, we can rewatch the children of the hero pawn! We can watch them again and cry again if y'all want. We won't, but we can. That's nice. You can change the following options when viewing- Oh, the weather and stuff. Will y'all also let me know when I need to change the weather again for certain areas? It's probably, I don't know if it's gonna be any different than the main game, but I still would like to know. Did y'all not cry when y'all saw that part? That was so, so freaking sweet. Oh, my heart felt like it was gonna burst. Oh, this place is so pretty, ooh. Bird. All oh, right, I need to change this up a little bit. Ooh. Ooh wee, that was so cute. Uh, I thought Ricky was just busy. <laughs> nope, apparently not. Uh, there's a lot of lore in this game that you miss if you don't do heart to hearts and talk to every NPC. What I want to do... Uh, what I want to do is after this DLC, I want to... Is Wait, is there more heart to hearts in the DLC as well? Do they have the whole... Um, Oh, it looks like they don't have the affinity stuff, so maybe not. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to grind so hard to get all the heart to heart, so we'll just watch them on YouTube after I beat the DLC. But I just need a collection of all of them. Hopefully somebody did that on YouTube somewhere. Bless their souls. <laughs> Uh, f uh, fun and cute fact, Ricky also tells Ryan to make his own family, hinting Sharla when Ryan says he also doesn't have a family in another heart to heart. Wait, don't tell me all the heart to hearts. Mom, we're gonna watch them, but that's so <laughs> cute. Oh, I wonder if we'll get to see Sharla and everybody again. I think, I'm guessing this one literally just is connected with Melia and Shulk, and I guess now the... Ricky's children. I wonder if we... I want to know if Ryan and Sharla got together. That would be perfect. They have quiet moments, which are voice. Oh. <gasps> Future Connect is just the shoulder and Alchemoth, but it's very big. Um, it has its version of heart to heart called quiet moment their voice and don't have any restrictions. Oh, that's so good Okay, good. I'll have to do them when I see them They're two to three hours long. That's okay. We'll just have The heart to heart time and watch it. Wait, what? I can't get these. I need a tool. Excuse me. Oh Wait, there are people here <gasps> I thought everybody would have gotten turned into a Telethia. Or at least evacuated the ones that... Wow, so they didn't. Interesting. Many, many bird people here. Are there really only high end here living here? Oh there, strangers. Stranger, you don't recognize her? Oh, hello. I guess not. 
I mean, it's been a year, so <laughs> understandable. I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was oh. a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. Fog King? The Fog King? Fog King. Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alchemoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghosts not shoot beams, dum dum. <laughs> so that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. Oh, but geez. In the end, it won us nothing at all. Are we not going to talk the about Fog how King's they're still alive? Tore okay. Into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the High Entia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital. Oh, so okay. Live. That makes sense. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. Aww. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I <laughs> are you hard job, of hearing? We can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. Aww. Maxis. Oh, his name is Maxis, right? I understand I where you're down. coming from. Still. I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. I'm a little confused while while why they're not like super happy to now like what? see her or him. Judging from the speech. I don't know. I Maybe they're convincing him. So this mean we're stuck here? No. Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. There we go. Somebody said Empress. Whoa, who's this? Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Gelgar? Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? He was part of the guard? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the majesty. Perish the thought, your majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. What? A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as majesty. Hm. I have no patience for weedling. Weedling? What is weedling? Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never oh, dream geez. of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. Yeah, he looks kind of creepy. It... But the majesty address is burdensome to me. Oh, okay, so she... Okay, so it's good that she doesn't want to be known? If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind. Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, 
We really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. She was so feisty oh, yes. with that. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. But like, Kendrick I mean, he did kind of like triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> um, I mean, he did basically diss her father because <laughs> he was a pure blood. So he's like, um, excuse me, um, no, we do not diss people. Ooh, what is that? To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the high end here in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Gotcha. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friends! Kind thanks, bud mister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where mind will the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel ramparts, which lie below this point. Oh. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. The Machina? What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. Really? Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Interesting. Well. So, Sir Gilgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of us. So, ha so half You'll of them. find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Okay. So half of them chose to stay here, while the other half. Are living amongst the Machina. Thanks for this. Interesting. See you friend later. Please to be extra careful of self. The same to you all. He seems too high and mighty. He's up to something. I'm calling it. He's sus. <laughs> Visiting the shops. You can buy weapons and armor in shops to help your journey. Um, oops. Uh, you will not find armor among the spoils for defeating monsters, but you may find weapons that differ from what shops have on offer. Hmm. So you can't get armor from spoils anymore. There's no lack of people having problems. Uh, completing the quest they give you, you'll obtain rewards such as money and equipment. And new color variations suitable for use as cosmetics. Hmm. Hi, Susu! Hi! Melia only wore a mask in the capsule so people wouldn't know she was half Homs. Ah! But they know- they still know who she is. Well, at least that one guy knew who she was. But true. Hi, Yaws! Good morning! I'm just- I'm just a little kind of put off by the fact that they're- they, it's been a year and she probably has been looking forward to seeing her people again, right? And wanting to save them. It kind of just felt lackluster when she actually sees them. They just like immediately talk about the capital instead of like, Hey, y'all are alive! Hi, we're here to save you! You know, I don't know. Am I wrong with that? Um, I do remember Zord. He had a daughter who lived in Colony 9 that mentions him after the ether mine and says that he used to be a blacksmith. Really? Wait, in Colony 9? Was he the gym guy? No, that's not a blacksmith. 
happy mass salesman high in tier edition. <laughs> Sus, I agree. The fact that he he doesn't like the machina already is dissing on the pure blood. Like there's something there's something off with him. Maybe he's the reason for this fall king. He reminds me of the villain in Lost Ark who wouldn't open his eyes when he did. He was clearly evil. Oh my god, I remember that thing. <laughs> the whole bite on his shoulder was cut from the main game on the Wii, but the map still exists and can be accessed through hacking tools. Cause, Wait, what? The bionic... Like, are you saying... Wait, what are you saying? Cosmetics from Future Connected can be worn in the main game once you get them. What? Wait, really? That's cool. Okay, I wrote everything down, so we should be okay. Um, <clears throat> I still can't get this. Can I buy? Can I buy the tool in a shop somewhere? Maybe I can. Here, hold on. Let me buy stuff first. Let's see. Hi there. Hi. How much money do we have? We have thirty k. So this is the only place. Oh, I feel like the sound is kind of off. Let me like redo this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's better. Um I don't wanna I don't wanna buy anything right now, but so we have to buy armor and stuff now from the shops. We can't get it from we can't get it from spoils, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh I yeah, wait, there's a new trailer out. I can't watch it right now because I'm streaming, but can somebody send it to me on Discord so I can watch it later? Um, I think you get the tool from a side quest. Ah, okay. Well, I'm gonna pick up the side quest. I might- I'll just do what I did in the main story. I'll pick them up, but not worry too much. Thank you, Zing. See? It says strangers such as yourselves. I guess, yeah, they don't know who she is. I'm also kind of, like, shocked that even though they know they're strangers, like, brah, we got all the way up here. Aren't you, like, the least bit curious, like, where we came from? Am I off on this? I feel frustrated. Like, we literally are here to... Ah! Maybe they just literally do not care. <laughs> they're like, we're living our lives. They have too much... They have too many things to worry about, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess so. They're, like, too concerned about this stuff. Okay. He wants me to get items. Um... Is there anybody? Like, can we talk to any of them? It's been a while since I saw a new face in this land. How'd you, oh, there we go! How'd you even get here? The bion shoulder is floating in midair. Most of the people on the shoulder now are refugees from Alchemoth or from the Bionis and Mechonis' collapse. Ah, there we go. Um, the whole area was planned for the main game, but it was cut. So when they did the extra story, it was restored and added Alchemoth too. I don't think I understand what y'all are meaning. The Bionic Shoulder was going to be the path between Frontier Village and... Oh, but... Ended up being that water bubble thing instead. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Are all of them gonna say, gonna say the same thing? What is it? You're the ones helping us thin out the praying caterpillars? Piles? <laughs> He's scared of creepy crawlies. Oh. So that's a shop that I have to come back later. Huh. So all of the all of the soldiers are here because they don't oh who's that at the top? Can I go up there? 
Um. Wait, how do you go up there? I guess you can't. Or maybe you can. Uh. Oops, <laughs> falling off. They're talking about the original Wii version. Um, did this exist? For this, um, uh, this DLC, did it exist for the Wii version? Or is it only in the Definitive Edition? Hi, Dr. Finnick, good morning! They didn't make the main game, so they added it with DLC. Okay. Am I, is that important? Sorry, I'm asking because I'm not sure why you're telling me it. I guess that's why I'm confused. Can help with the hunt. Poor elves. Hey. Oh, there it is. I developed this tool for exploiting ether deposits. You're still li well. I wonder even how can we even make gems anymore? Deposits are too dense, so it needs a specialized implement. Ah. Okay. Now I can do it. <laughs> People telling us as uh, did you? Oh, did you know thing? Oh, okay, gotcha. That didn't sound good. Oh no! She broke it. <laughs> I was say I didn't expect it to break so easily. Um, so the problem is durability. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, thank you. It's been a valuable learning opportunity. I feel like I can. Take my research to the next level now. Um, I did want you to have this common ether pick as thanks, but now that it's broken, it won't really do, will it? Um, that's too bad. I'll just have to give you the old retail model instead. Like I said, it's got its kinks, so it requires a trained hand, but it's better than nothing, right? You should be able to use it to harvest decently high purity gems from all around the shoulders. Saves you time crafting. Okay, well, I did. I guess I got it. Um... Oh, cool. Now can I pick... Oh, there it is. On the Vianna shoulder, you can use a tool called Ether Pick to mine actual gems from Ether Deposit, not just crystals. Oh my god, that's how you get gems? If you exhaust a given deposit, check back after a while. As you progress through the story, you may be able to obtain a more efficient Ether Pick. With a better Ether Pick, you can mine gems of higher rank. <gasps> so you don't have to make the gems anymore. Wait, I really like that. What the heck? Hi, yes! Thank you for the 18 month resub! Hello! How are you? I hope your Monday is going well. I got art heal. What did I get actually? Art heal and heal uh, HP up. Interesting. I will give the art heal to him and then HP up to her. Freaking adorable, man. This is technically not DLC. It's just an extra story as it came with the game. Got it. I just say DLC because it's just easier to say. <laughs> Even though I, I know it's technically not DLC. Part of the main game. Um, the extra story is Definitive Edition exclusive. Oh... But, was it- so this wasn't available on the Wii? Huh. 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 I wish 
wish the side quests would show up on the side. Switch only story. Cool. I like the idea of just extracting gems from the deposits instead of making your own. I hope that's I hope that's how it's like in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful! Happy Monday! I have to admit, it was pretty hard to wake up this morning. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting to change it out of the aqua. How many- how many of these things can I summon? Just three at a time? Now that I'm using Melia more? <laughs> Only three? Okay. That's what I just saw, so... Makes sense, makes sense. So you still can get weapons from these things. That's good. Catapon! I love that they added all of them. So cute. Ugh. Oh. It makes it so much better with Nene and Kino. It makes me happy. Um, FC was added specifically for Definitive just as it leads up to the future of Xenoblade series. I'm excited to see what, what happens with this. This is the only story I haven't played yet in order. I did Torna 2 and then 1. Torna? I heard one of the Nopon in 3 is named Riku. Wait, really? In Xenoblade Chronicles 3, they already have like the names of the characters out? Or is it just a rumor? <laughs> so many hero pawn, Reiki, Shulk, and now Kino. <laughs> oh, so cute. So this game, did it come out originally on the Wii and then the 3DS? Uh, what is Torna? Oh, Torna is the DLC for two. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A rainbow carrot. What is this? What is this? Examine? Examine the rock? Mm hmm, hmm. You can press down on the D-pad out of battle to bring up the quest log. <gasps> I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Thank you. We'll be doing Torna then as well after I beat Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The six main characters in the nations for Xenoblade 3. Oh, we do? And the... It's called Riku? Oh my god, it's like Ricky. <laughs> they didn't really change too far off. <laughs> and the fact that Alvis reminded me of Riku, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's kind of funny to me that they have that. Uh, Wii is 2010, 3DS 2015, and Switch in 2020. Gotcha. Wow, it was 2020 that the Definitive Edition came out? Gosh dang. Wait, what is that? What is that? What are those bubbles? Wait, what is this? Oh, is this the quiet moment? Oh gosh. Ruin my groove. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Um... 
The 3DS version sadly wasn't playable on my system, only on the new 3DS models. Oh. So strong, so strong. May 2020, right in the middle of lockdown. Wow. I was wondering why I didn't hear about it. Probably because Animal Crossing came out around the same time. These are quiet moments. I'm happy I found one. Alright, let's see what these these are like. Get to know each other in the quiet moments. Investigate an uh, icon to view the corresponding quiet moment. If you don't already meet the conditions for viewing a given scene, feel free to come back to it when you do. Um, any quiet moments you investigated will be added to a list found under quiet moments in the main menu's collectible section. You can also use it to check the conditions. Maybe it's like we have to unlock characters or something. <gasps> oh, what's this? These flowers, don't they smell heavenly? Miss Melia is a big fan of flowers? Yes, because of my mother. When I was young, she often asked for my help with the villa's flower beds. How about you, Nene? Nene also loved flowers very much. I see. Then we have something in common. Before, when I spoke of them to a Hom's friend, she said flowers are nice, but nothing beats a warm dinner. I got no understanding from her. Finally, fate sent me someone I can communicate with. Aww. What did Miss Melia say about dinner? Oh, just talk. <laughs> what did she say about dinner? The dinner part wasn't really relevant. But Nene, big fan of dinner too. <laughs> Most of all, pollen orbs from factory in Frontier Village. They so very soft and so yummy scrummy. Look, that's not. Hold on. Meme? Meme? You said you love flowers. Did you mean as a food stuff? Meh? There is meaning other than? Oh my god. I should have known. You're one of them. You're one of them. Nene, listen. Flowers are not simply special because they can be eaten. We can admire their beauty, or use them to create ornaments and works of art, and that is a great part of their charm. Ornaments. Ornaments. Meme! Oh yes, Nene, remember, long ago Dead Upon made Mama Pond flower crown for give us gift. Oh! Ricky did that. Oh! <laughs> that no one has hidden depths. <laughs> like it if you also had an interest in inedible flowers if you did then you too just like your mother in her own day may know the joy she felt okay the next time nene find flowers that cannot eat nene will make pretty flower crown for miss melia oh to eyes and nene miss melia look most bestest in blue what think while i appreciate the offer greatly Weren't you originally of the regarding flowers as food persuasion? Meh? If you make pollen orbs from not eatable flowers, they bitter and not tasty. Yes, a fair point. It is just as you say. Oh my god. This so is so cute. Different but is this whole is this whole flowers side story gonna be like this? Ever. Side story? What do I even call it if it's not DLC? <laughs> choose only one Ugh. while discounting the other well then i will humbly accept the sign of your affection nene roger that and yet why do it for me won't kino and shulk feel left out there is very good reason nene just want to see smiling face of miss melia bright as sun <sighs> epilogue okay epilogue <laughs> Something wrong? Nene, not say anything weird? No, not at all. Mm. It was just how sincerely you said it. I should take a leaf out of your book. Meh? Mm. Precious Nene, I look forward to the gift. Nene, pull out all stuffs. Although, I would feel a bit awkward were I the only one to wear one. Why don't we make them together? And exchange them afterwards. Mimi? Do they actually do this? Because I would really like to see this. Is deal. No, in fact, 
his unbreakable promise. Are they actually gonna do this? I want to see that so bad. <laughs> ah. <sighs> oh, maybe not, Zang. I mean, it was also a really hard time for people, so... Oh, uh, it was around a lot of remakes. Oh, you're right, Final Fantasy VII also came out around then. The dinner part is about another heart-to-heart -heart in the main game. <laughs> You will hold off on that. I'll eventually see it, but... You should take a look at the announcement trailer for Xenoblade from 2007. <laughs> it was originally called Monado Beginning of the World. Is that what it was originally called? And they changed it? That was so precious! That was so precious, guys! How do I see... Oh, there it is. Okay, there's another one over there. I guess I can get to it later. Because it looks like... Oh, oops. Oh. Well. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know if there was a... <laughs> Sorry! Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wait, what? Where was I? Oh, okay. Well, I gotta watch out where I walk. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen! Ah! <laughs> it ruined the moment. Oh my god. I think there's another quiet moment around the back of the companion's cape where the high NTR too, that's kind of easy to miss. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. I want to see all of them. I couldn't do- I couldn't do all of them in the main story. But I- if I can try to do them here, I will. For some reason, I'm, I'm choosing to do side quests right now, so whatever. I think all of the games brought over to the Switch Xenoblade had the most added. Wait, what do you mean? This one's the main one you said, right? I need to keep doing the bolt one. Okay, you said where the high intia are. I don't see it. I see the one in the water. Or do I have to go across the bridge where I'm it wants me to go? No, I don't think so. Or or is it the one that I just did that is like the one that you can easily miss? The plus Wait, there's also a little neat detail at the at the back of the... Oh, travel? Oh wait, you mean this one? Area map? Ah, you're right! It's right there. Okay, I'll have to go back and see it. Ah, good point. Oh, really, Phoenix? That makes me a little nervous, but also really happy. Because <laughs> that means the story is really good and people can cry to it. Um, hi, Zilfer! Thank you for the 27 months! Hello! Would you say this game? No, actually, I don't. Never mind. I won't ask. I won't ask that. I feel like that could be a little spoiler for me if I ask that. <laughs> so I won't ask. Hi, Silver. Happy Monday. I hope you had a really good weekend. Did you do anything fun? Okay, let me go to this um, area. Or let me go back. Oops. Yay! I didn't want to miss that! Thank you! So easily not seen. I didn't even notice. I didn't even think to look at the map. And there's something also that's back here, you said? That links to the main game? Is it the... Is it the quiet moment that you're talking about? Or just there's something else back here? 
I had a wonderful weekend. Saturday was so fun because I went shopping. And I and I um, just got a whole bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to get. And funny enough, I saw my friend. <laughs> even though I didn't even mean to hang out with her. It was pretty funny. And then I uh, had Easter dinner with everyone. Look, I can get this stuff too. Look. Is it gonna tell me what gems I got? Oh, chill attack. Chill attack two, slow two, and uh, another chill attack. Oh wait, I need to go the other way. You see that little raised platform? Oh, right there? Um, yeah, I see it. Do those cookies, yo, those cookies look bomb. Oh my God, I know, right? Melody, um, she's the one who made it. That's, uh... My brother-in-law's mom's brother's wife. <laughs> she makes that stuff. And the cookies were sparkly. Um, Saturday was Easter celebration day. A lot of Sunday was just doing taxes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, taxes. Today is the last day, right? It's April 18th, right? The one to the left. Oh, the one to the left. Oh. Uh. I feel dumb. <laughs> uh, this one? Uh, is it. Is that? That? Uh. Or. I feel stupid. That over there? That? Or that? <laughs> With the ramps? Oh, wait, this area? Oh, this area. This area? Where I'm right... Where I'm walking? Walk to the end? Oh! This is where Arthas found the Monado! Oh my god! It is? You have a really good memory. I wasn't paying attention to where they were when he got the Monado. Yeah, today is the deadline. I always do it the last week. Oh god. I got done around 11 p.m. Oh my god. Uh oh. So, sort of an ant twice removed. <laughs> an in law, in law, an in law, in law. Is mom. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> but, yes. Well, that's crazy. You know what? Did I ever get the reason why Arglis turned into Zimnis? Or Zimnis? Oh my god, I'm just... Why did I say Zimnis? <laughs> Zansa! Oh my god, it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> just blended into my brain. Please, please forget that I said that. Um, <laughs> Zansa... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, because they threw a giant bomb at me at the very end there. Because I know that it... He like created... <laughs> Sorry, I'm mixing up my games. <laughs> ah! Ah, just ignore me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stupid. Zeno played art. He was possessed. Um, yes. And the reason... I guess I was just a little... Okay, because it... Okay, because Sansa wanted the cycle of birth and death, right? So that's why he created the Monado, and that's where I, why Arglo, Ar, Arglis found it, right? The whole creation part really threw me for a loop, because I was like, what? They, there's scientists on a spaceship? Like, I was, I was like, what? I'm still kind of, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still kind of like thrown around a bit um, by all of that because I, I don't think, I don't think that's the thing that you typically think about <laughs> when it comes to like the story of games. I don't know. He was influenced by Zansa even before he took the Monado. Oh, you think so? Is <laughs> Sora's coming to Xenoblade now? <laughs> I know, all the games are blending. 
I just I because Kingdom Hearts 4 got announced recently, I think that, I think that's why. Watch me start getting confused. Oh, watch me start getting confused of um people in Final Fantasy 10 and Xenoblade. I can see that happening. Okay, I need both of them in the party to do this, I think. All right, let's watch the quiet moment, guys. Shulk and Nene. Hey. <laughs> Brother, sister, pon. Hope they're not giving mama pon too much trouble buckets. Trouble buckets? Nay, nay. There you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? Little pon never change. Nay, nay. We'll run back later and go there, there. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sister, Nene. Aww. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, Nene? Mum. Nene being reminiscing about Frontier Village, tiny bit. I see. Trouble so buckets. That's where you were living before. Mm. Yep. In Paz, Nene always adventure into Magna Forest with brother sister Bon and climb trees every day. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. Not bon boys, all good for nothing lazy bones. <laughs> it all too much for Mama Pon to handle, so Nene have to help take care of brother sister Pon and dad upon all for <laughs> Oh my god, she even has to take care of Ricky. I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. <laughs> Aww. Dad upon, after he'd chosen for village hero Pon and set off on great adventure with Mr. Shaw, how's become? Total pig's oh. Hungry little pond underfoot everywhere. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. Hmm. I was wondering what it was like Wait, that, that was he was gone. After Ricky joined us. So that must mean. Yep. Before Nene became friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here, we actually meet one year ago back in Frontier Village. Wait. <gasps> Stomach bumbly bumbly. Wait, is that? Oh! Hey, that was her. You're kidding. Oh! She didn't have clothes on. That's why I didn't recognize her. Though, in my defense, oh. you've really grown. It's almost like you're a whole different Nopper. In Nopper biology, age between ten and fifteen. Often experience growth spurt. Oh, why, when compare Nene now and Nene one year ago, it's not too surprising if not realize they the same person. It's still quite a surprise. I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> now, Mr. Shop, no, can rely on post growth spurt Nene more than both <laughs> post growth spurt <laughs> Nene. Always count on Nopon. I forgot the day that day we got to meet all of his kids. I forgot about that. <laughs> Nene had these moments lately when get teeny bit lonely. Oh. Oh. What? What? <laughs> her face was that her hunger? Was she? Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. Uh, I don't think that was me. Nene, prepare some grub. Too sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. Wait. Wait. Was that his stomach or her stomach? Is she blaming Shulk? And <laughs> it was her that was hungry? Her face changed. <laughs> no wonder she's lonely. It was her stomach. She literally did the Kylie what face. <laughs> tell me too rumbly to move or what? Uh, Wait. I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with a meal. It'll be more fun that way. Aww. Would not say no. Aww, that's so sweet. Oh, these moments are so precious. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have to do all of them, guys. Please help me find all of them. Please. I have to. These these make me feel so happy. Alright, let's go up here. This is where I came from. 
Chow hound. I love how she says certain things like trouble buckets. Chow hound. They say the cutest things. <laughs> this takes, uh, they grow up so fast to a new level. So wait, she said between the ages of 10 and 15, they have a giant growth spurt within like a year? It was a spiritual successor to Xenogears, which was heavier on sci-fi, so I wasn't surprised by the twist. Oh, well, I was. <laughs> I was. Due to divine entity the space station had in its possession, science meets religion and creates a new universe. Oh. Oh, so that's what ended up happening? There's a fan translation of a massive book online full of XBC1 lore known as the Monado Archives. It's kind of interesting if you get the time to look at it. Huh. Voice acted heart to hearts that are way longer than the original heart to hearts. I know. They're so cute. I kind of want to play through Xenogears 2. I should set up my PS3 again. Do it. The interactions between the characters are all super sweet and wholesome. Oh my god, yeah, they are. I feel blessed. What is that red thing over there? What is that? What is that? I'm gonna go to it. What is that? Is it a flower? What is that? What is this? What the heck is this thing? What is this? Oh my god. What is that? Okay. Alright, let's keep going. It won't let me do anything. <laughs> so, never mind. Uh, press Y to get to the map faster. Oh. Oh, I've been doing it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Otter. <laughs> Should I... Can I go here? Oh, wait. I can teleport. Oh. Okay, well, let's do this one real quick since they're right here. Okay, who is it? Can we even do this one? Let's see. Oh, no! We can't do it yet. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have to remember to do that one later. Okay, that's so helpful. <laughs> Explain how Fiora gets her body back? Wait, really? Huh. The character um, interactions in future. Okay, I'm. I probably most likely will not have time to read the Monado archives. Can y'all explain me how she gets her body back? I would actually like to know. Unless it's like too long of a story, then never mind. The character interactions in future connected are much better than the ones from the main game. Well, they had a long time to create these, right? You said this is only on the Switch, so. It's been, what, since 2010? So they had a lot of time to, like, add more story, I'm guessing. Oh, I, I am, Rally. Um, what I want to do is finish playing, because I just didn't really want to today. I just wanted to jump in the epilogue, but... What I want to do is after I finish the epilogue, I want to have like a sit down where we all watch the hearts to hearts, the heart to hearts together on stream. Um, apparently it's like two to three hours, so <laughs> it'll probably be like a good chunk of the morning where we just watch and just hang out and talk about what we see. Oh my god, what is a nopon doing here? Before friends pass here, what is this music? Please to hear story. Oh wait, we've heard this music before. I sense an ordeal in our immediate future. Anyway, gratitude for stopping in tracks. What is matter? Matter is a bit complicated to be frank. If we can help, we would like to do so. Me me. Although we've pretty much only just arrived here, so if it's directions you need, we might not be the ones to ask. Issue is not about where go, actually is about tracking down friends. They get lost? They're not lost, no. They scatter to designated locations for form ordered land survey. What point of that? Measuring relative and absolute elevation of terrain, plot distance, and other such. Oh no, completely forgot to do mandatory self-intro. 
qualified, certified, satisfaction, guarantee, guarantified, pawn specter, pawn specter tent. Tentu, <laughs> his name, surveying new lands this game. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute. Pawn Specter Tentu. Pleasure to meet you, Tentu. I'm Shulk, and these are Melia, Nene, and Kino. Pleasure, all be belong to Tentu. My curiosity is a little piqued. Might I ask what a Pawn Specter is? Question is extremely well timed. Pawn Spectre is the name of elite unit of no pawn surveyors, and Tintu is one. No pawn from Frontier Village surely hear Pawn Spectre name said in tone of reverence at least once or twice. Um, Sister Pawn, have any clue? <laughs> Didn't it get dead upon my no? Heck, things worse than Tintu thought. Long period of suspended activity was disastrous for brand recognition. <laughs> Recognition. Me, no. Tribulation is only opportunity in full body costume. Go on. Tintu. Have to put best foot forward. Tintu and other pawn specters actually come to buy on his shoulder to conduct full and complete survey. But Chief One One, who is brigade leader, forget to inform of rendezvous point. So though Tintu finished on assignment, looks like up creek without paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Up creek without paddle. <laughs> Expect all pawn specters in the same boat. Tend to think should probably go look for teammates, but uh, with monsters carpeting land, probably even veteran pawn specter like tend to have hard time. Apart from yourself, how many members does your team number? Nice round eleven. Eleven? I see. This is a vast land, so searching by yourself certainly seems dangerous. Do you know where your colleagues might have gone? Hmm, tend to have a couple thinklings. Thinklings? Two pawn specters can probably find. Then maybe they have clues for other whereabouts. All writings. Then we go search for first two. Now wait single minute, Kino. Still plenty of important business we attending to. Tend to not get underfoot, promise. Friends look strong, so thought maybe can go with. That way, if sea pawn specters somewhere along travel path can help out each other, is good plan or what? What do you think, Melia? Do you really need to ask, Shulk? We help you look for pawn specter, friends. Should really be Miss Melia that say that. <laughs> really? Oh boy! Tear ducks of Tintu welling with joy. Thank you, friends. Can you tell us, to the best of your knowledge, where you would expect your colleagues to be? Oh my god, the way they walk is so adorable. I love his little flag. <laughs> One was in charge of area between crosswords on way of Companions Cape all the way to Nerthus Necropolis. That one is a bit of coward, so Tintu not sure he do survey job properly. <laughs> Other one was assigned to area past Cragmaw Caverns, stretching from Lake on lefty side up to Pillar Knoll. Might be having case of screamy abdabs at unexpected circumstance, so Tintu would like to put mind at ease. And less friends think Tintu is some kind of freeloader, let, let reassure when push come to shove, Tintu shove. <laughs> I feel better already, thank you Tintu. When push come to serve, Tintu shove. Or shove, push come to shove, Tintu shove. But of course, Tintu most grateful too. Oh my god, he salutes! So I have to find all the pawn specters? Does something happen if I find them all? I love this. <laughs> They're so cute! Oh, pawn specter enabled special attacks. Oh. The pawn specters are an elite band of surveyors from Frontier, Frontier Village split between red, blue, yellow teams. If he can... Befriend members from all three teams. Shulk and his friends will gain access to a new kind of special attack, so try to seek them out wherever possible. The full Pawn Spectre Brigade numbers 12 members. When you recruit one, they may tip you off the location of others. Locations you've heard of are marked on the map. Pawn Spectres on the Bayana shoulder have issues they struggle with. Resolve those issues for them to gain their help, to gain their help in the request. In collectible section of the menu, you can access the Pawn Specter report to learn more about the Pawn Specters you have befriended up until that point. 
<laughs> oh, it's the Hero Pond Ricky theme. Okay, that's where I've heard it before. Oh my god, that was... These things are so cute. Are there any plushies for the no ponds? Just curious. Oh. Oh, let me read what you guys were saying now. Is this music from Final Fantasy XIV? No. Is its own story? It's not too long, but it fits in between Shulk waking up and going to the Bionis' heart. Interesting. Oh, wait, there's a hard part where Ricky tells a story about Nene, and in an FC, Nene tells you her POV. It's so sweet. I like how they shorten their sentences. Yes, I love it too. Up creek without paddle. <laughs> ah, well, when will mankind create real life no pod? I don't know, but hopefully soon. There's a character, Lenata, inform Shulk of the possible existence of a ancient high Entia. Um regeneration chamber which will give Fiora back her old body however Fiora must go into the chamber for six months she ends up doing this after Zansa is defeated ah ah six months is that when we see her again it was six months after it's a side activity but most of them are along the way oh I'm gonna get all of them Nene sounds like a Teletubby name, <laughs> does it? Lala. I can't remember the other ones. I just remember Lala. Finding all the pawn spikes will reward you. Okay. Hi, Sh uh, Shurian. Hi. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh wait. Well, we see one right here. There's also a quiet memory somewhere close by. Question mark. Or maybe it's up up on the top. I can't really understand the elevation colors in the game. Maybe it's around? Oh, there's one right there! Wait, I have to probably do the main story first. <laughs> oh, she sees the capital. Alcamoth. You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed as well. Wounds have not yet fully healed. Yeah. Right. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't, not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy hat. <laughs> keep on happy hat. But still full of bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. <laughs> His face. Why, why you bring that up? <laughs> it's really irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino not to rock this melee. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> That's so cute. The daily way cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. Aww. This game's gonna make this this epilogue's gonna make me cry way too much. That you choose for yourself. 
As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telesia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards to Alchemoth. So sweet. Look how she walks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, that was sweet. That was a cute man. There's so many cute cutscenes. Ooh, this is really pretty. Um, the extra story actually happens like one year and six months after Zonso's defeat. I'm guessing so. Because the last thing that we... That makes sense then. Because then that means that she got healed for six months. And then it's one year after that point. Um, I'm kind of sad though that we don't see anybody else. I kind of wanted to see Fiora. Because this is the last time we'll be able to see them, right? Because they're not in Xenoblade 2. Or is that a spoiler? Maybe I shouldn't ask that question. I don't know. It makes me sad. Because I really like these characters a lot. Yeah, Phoenix is exactly... Yeah, that's a very good comparison. It's probably going to take centuries, <laughs> unfortunately. Some weird looking potatoes you're talking to. Aren't they cute, Roglev? This one's Nene. The pink one. Um, that one's not one. Um, and then there's also... Um, Kino, <laughs> who's the green one. Which I need, I actually need him in my party, so... Look how cute he is! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, cool bro, for that. <laughs> Eveline. Qualified, certified, but fully booked, so hands are tied. Ponspec to Evelyn. Is name surveying new lands this game. Dear oh dear oh dear. Ah, friends have impeccable timing. Evelyn is dire need of helping. I assume from their expression that this matter bothers them. <laughs> Survey for day was finished, so Evelyn... Evelyn? Make to sit down on sitting sitting spot over yonder for well-deserved snack break was just removing tasty morsel from knapsack when all of a sudden whoosh splash meal thing plops straight into lake all gone in a single eye wink like tears standing under a waterfall walpole sardi and lake scoffed down every last piece of hard deserved fo footage but no ugly fishy fish incur wrath of Evelyn and live to swim about it. <laughs> Sardi will rue day and made enemy of Evelyn. <laughs> oh my god. Friends speak to Evelyn because felt urged to help no pawn in distress, right? Then please to avenge poor Evelyn. We have to kill something that ate her snack. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Can this thing even hit me? I'm far away. Pawn Spectre assistance. In battle against enemies, Pawn Spectres will jump in to help Shulk and his friends on their own initiative. Each Pawn Spectre has a signature move, healing the party, debuffing the enemies, and so on. Oh wow, that's so helpful. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this screenshot. Red team has offensive signature move, blue team is healing, yellow team is debuffing. If you perform well in battle start affinity, burst affinity, etc. by pressing B at the right time, the pawn specters may enter a state of high tension. Pawn specters in a state of high tension will join in the battle with all their strength and with no slacking off. That's very good. High tension will wear off with time, returning to the usual state. <laughs> wow. 
I like how the pawn specter is following you. I know. I love it too. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. They really are like Pokemon. You're correct. Wait, who needs help? Oh. Oh, I have to kill two of them? I can't... Oh, I was like, why can't I get it? I have to kill one more. Why is nobody attacking? Okay, I guess I'll do this alone. I'll just sit and relax. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe they can't swim, and that's why? Got a staff. Okay, so we help this no pond. Me, me, me! Sniff! Oh, day of joy! Emily was agog watching friends bish bashing smelly fish brutes. <laughs> In fact, Evelyn felt feel a whole lot better now, although no is no use. Tum Tum feels so empty, no energy, even for Shimmy. Shimmy? But if friends able to bring Evelyn Maro Cobb from whereabouts, maybe able to kickstart metabolism. Wait, what? I need to get her something now? Um... Is it these things? Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, I have to get three of them. Okay. N Nene and Kino are too short to fight in the water. Oh, same as Ricky. Oh! That's why they weren't able to fight! Oh, I didn't know. I thought it, as a game it would just do it anyways. Alright, let's give her these moral gobs. Lazy potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and I like these creatures. They're so cute. I hope there's no pond in every every Xenoblade game. Moro cobs. Munch crunch crunch. So slurp tasty. Can feel life flowing back into limsies. Hun kick frigs hat very mash. Oh, she's saying thank you very much. May have all dish her faffle. Not so bad after all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's talking with her mouth full. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, I got sleep resist. Nice. Evelyn wolf's whole thing down. Now is about time Evelyn make haste to finding one one. Come to think, life all about helping each other, no? Dread to think what happened if Evelyn co collapsed on road alone. Clearly, friends have obligation to assure Evelyn come to no harm. So take with and deliver a person safe to one one. Though must say, made good survey progress today, like in old, like in days of old chief who established pond specters, retired now. When one one step in to take mantle, practically only ever do charity work for Frontier Village. No pond specting at all. Evelyn nearly forgot was even pond specter in first place. Okay, it's settled. Friends, <laughs> all ready to set off. Then it's time to deliver results of survey to Chief One One. Yay, I got her. Me? Friends want to know about other pond specters? Not to spoil all fun, but Evelyn have one small idea. Try here. Try where? Oh my god. Wait, there's one over here? Wait, I don't want to go over there yet. Because there's no other place to teleport. So I'll go back there eventually. Um... This place is really pretty at night. I like the sky. Okay, so... I think... If... If I go this way, will I be able to reach the quiet memory? The quiet... No, it looks like I have to go all the way up there. I don't know how to get up there, though. Hi, Kyle! What's up? How the heck am I supposed to... Oh, there we go. Lightning attack 2, pierce resist 3. And ether up. 
Okay, I don't think I can climb up this thing. <laughs> There's gotta be another way later. I know, music is very peaceful and chill. Don't fall asleep, chat. Actually, you can if you want to. I would like to fall asleep to this music. Yeah, I don't know how to get up there, so I'll have to go up there later. Oh, is that a dragon? Oh. Not. <laughs> I have never fallen asleep to your streams. <laughs> you haven't? That's good. <laughs> hey! Oh, I love that emote Legos. That's cute. Wait, there's one over here. Oh. Attack! These things are very easy. Is it because I'm playing as Melia? And that's why it's easy? Summon Aqua! She really does not need that. Oh, I'm also on casual too, that's probably why. You can fall asleep to a Kylie stream, but 10 minutes later she'll wake you up. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Wait, who are they attacking? Oh my god, there's so many! Wait, where did these all come from? Oh, jeez. Oh my god, where'd all these things come from? Darn it. No, we're all toppled. And Kylie goes, ah! <laughs> so wakey wakey. Wait, I can heal her specifically, so that's good. Wait, did they all die? Wait, where'd they go? <gasps> oh look, it was the... It's the pun specters! It did, uh, it attacked. It's attacking with me! Hey! Holy cow, that was a, I didn't expect to fight that many right here. Intense squealing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, where, where was it? It was just up here. Mm. Output can be kind of overpowered sometimes, especially summon bolt at a full level and electric plus gems. <gasps> That's a good idea. I'll have to find some electric plus gems. Okay, here we go. Let's watch this one. Yay! Oh, so it has to be afternoon. Oh, and we have to have Shulk in the party. Okay, let's change. And then make it... Oh, oops. Make it be the afternoon. Like here, maybe? Here we go. The land and the sky. So high up! It really is, isn't it? When stand on tippy edge... I'd go dizzy wall! Kino, don't get too close to the edge. If you lose your footing, you could fall. Here is much safer! Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. 
strange view when come to think about. Clouds look like floaty fluff below feet. Floaty right. fluff. Oh wow, thank I you. I don't think I've ever been this high up before either. No, no, no. You know it. If clouds are in direction down, this continent floating even higher up than clouds. Exactly. It's floating much higher up than Frontier Village in Magna Forest. Or even Aerith Sea. Strange, so strange. But why this island is floating higher than even clouds? I think I remember something from an old book. As I recall, the Bionis shoulder was once inhabited by the giants, a highly advanced race. Oh, what? There used to be many islands floating above Aerith Sea, you know. Do you know, no? Teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. The giants. They could process and utilize hoverstone, a mineral with floating properties. <laughs> well, they really do explain everything. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took hoverstone from here and transported it back to Aerith Sea. Whoa, elementary. Kino, 220% agree. 220% agree. Of course, you take all this with a grain of salt. Until now, no Homs, or even Hyentia, have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. No, no, it makes sense. Can be no mistake in theory of Shulk. Shulk really do know everything, just like Dad upon say. Oh no, I'm positive there are things I don't know. Coffee! Say, friend Shulk is brainy smart, know everything. Also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. Did, did he really? I'm actually a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's only a good thing. He also said Shulk is number one sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> number one sidekick. I, I love how his eyes change to sparkles when he says that. <laughs> good old Ricky. <laughs> Number one sidekick. I miss Ricky. My mom made me coffee with whipped cream at the top. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna be feeling this later. I just can't drink it too fast. Hard not to. When Kylie sees a handsome husbando and wakes up chat. <laughs> yeah. I know, I have a Kiki's Delivery Service shirt. I have it on. Okay, well, that was so cute. Um... We need to go this way. <laughs> like, how is getting development through the kids? Wait, wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I don't know how to get- I'm guessing I have to go this way first to get there. Okay, keep going. Oh, how is Ricky- How Ricky is getting development through the kids. I know! I like- I like being able to get more information about him. Is this- is this one on? Like, do I have to go above here to get to that one? Is that how? Like, you have to go this way? Oh, wait, no. But there is a gym thingy here. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't see. No! Alright, fine. <laughs> There'll be more? Okay, good. That makes me happy. What the heck is this thing? They look like Ewoks. Spirit is here, Pong Wei! I guess I should fight this one. It's kind of in the way. Manifest yourself. Just want it shot to feel like 
Why are they aggroing? Guys, I didn't even aggro those. It's a, oh, it's above. Okay. Hi, Arg. I'm all alone. What? You're not alone. Above you, you have to go through the inside first. Okay. I'm gonna get this first and then try to figure out how to get above. I'm really, I'm really enjoying, um... The story and the, the cute little pawn specters, so I'm gonna do them. Focus on doing them. One of your... One of your Shulk's AoE attacks aggro them? Oh, possi- Oh, possibly. I don't have- Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it was a Xenoblade X joke? Oh. I wouldn't know. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so now we can go here. Alright, let's go on the inside. Oh, it shows you! He over here? Oh, he's over here! Oh! Defeat the slobbery entels attacking the pawn specter. Oh no, they're attacking him! We gotta save him! Force of all life. <laughs> Kino plus sidekicks. Did he just call me? He did exactly like what his dad did. Mm. His name is De Kadeka. Deca Deca. Oh, Deca Deca. Uh, really thought it was curtains for a moment there. Friends snatched life of Deca Deca from Jaws of Death. When Deca Deca finished surveying area, lit monster repellent light, light uh, incense that got from Friend. But then monsters appear. It makes no sense. Why on heck monsters not repel? Why to why attract? Man, when Deca Deca take whiff, realize it ac is actually monster attractant in incense. Friend must have put in by mistake. Or this could be trial that fate posed for Deca Deca to challenge resolve. Fate call and Deca Deca to defeat monsters by own self. Meh meh. But Deca Deca do nothing, just call for help from passersby. Disappoint in self. Aww. Well, in any case, thank friends for well time rescue. Deca Deca not forget this kindness. Aww. Okay, so I guess they all have different um, quests. To do. By the by, did friends see Chief 1 1 somewhere? Maybe Deca Deca have to hand in survey results. 1 1 rise in ranks very quick, was once rookie of team, but now Chief already. Very unexpected. Must be recognition for excellent skill in pawn specting. Deca Deca must follow shining example. Is key tenet of pawn specter organization that good effort always recognized and rewarded. I will use my power to protect my friends. We have a bl two blue ones now. Yay. Um, Xenoblade X battle theme is a rap with funky lyrics, but it's good, I swear. It's a rap with funky lyrics. <laughs> okay, I'll believe you. Okay, um... Holy cow, what is that thing? That thing looks absolutely terrifying. A grotesque. Demimit Damis? <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Well. <laughs> Do I have to fight everything in this cave? In this cave? Um. Okay, I guess so. Oh. 
It's like Elden Ring all over again. <laughs> ah! These ants, man. So, is the lightning an AoE or no? I don't think it is. There's a bat that's going to attack me if he hears me. Wonderful. Wait. Ah! Might as well get all of these as well. Lightning is single target, earth, wood, and ice are AoEs. Oh, okay. Um, I think I should change out ice. What are they doing over there? <laughs> I think I should change out water for ice. So what changes when her center ability kind of glows? What what is changing about it? Just does more damage? Wait, who is it hitting? Oh god! god. Where did this thing come from? How did you get this? How did you get this? The aggro. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Her attacks are more powerful and burst high uh, burst are available. Yeah, when can I use those? Why are those still grayed out? Oops, wrong bike, wrong person. Hi, Aeon. See, what does it do when it's like glowy like this? Is this more damage? Every time you dispel a limit, it fills up her talent art gradually. When it fills, that's when she's more. Oh, got it. That's okay. Gotcha. Does Nene have um, any other roles in any other games? Like her voice actress? Well, if I literally killed that, then I want this. <laughs> what is this one? An earth one? Physical protect? Muscle up? Instead of auto attacks, feeling like Shulk, Rain, uh, Ryan, Fiora, and Co. Hers fills up by using more arts. I uh, like that. A lot. Use Burst and Mind Blast? Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So I can only use Mind Blast when that's like max. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I could use it whenever. Whose bones are these? Pillar Knoll.
Oh. Is this somebody's old house? All right, that's where we're heading. I was forgetting where we were going. <laughs> Is this like the whole map? So there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine um, quiet memories left. I know, I know the epilogue is not that long. She has a voice actor in Dark Souls? Really? Huh. I was expecting Final Fantasy XIV, not gonna lie. <laughs> we. So there's already been floating islands in their world, but then when Bionis poofed, they stayed question mark? Some birth person with a book. Hold him so. Not sure about Nene, but I know Kino's voice actor voices perfect Peter from Ford Henry. And learning Ricky is the voice actor of their dad. The game becomes even more ironic and hilarious. I don't think I understand. I don't know who Perfect Peter is. Ah! Who is the Fire Maiden? Did Lego Hobbit voice actor as well, but not a lot else. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thanks for looking that up, Rogla. Well, this is pretty. Look at the... Look at... These are so pretty. What the heck? Look how so pretty. Hey, PZ! Thank you for the five gifted subs! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for doing that! Thank you for try or he helping me get more subs in my channels. You're so sweet, thank you! Mm. You're so sweet! Legos, Lives, Man Manicute, and Jadula. Oh! Oh. Welcome to the fairy family, guys. Not sure if that show exists outside the UK, though. Oh, uh, it's probably a UK show. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was like, I don't think I've heard of it before. Why does it make it ironic, though? Is he, like, the dad in, their, in that game, too, or something? Like, the voice actor? <gasps> Summon coffee! Here you go! I don't know what my mom put in this. It's like liquid crack or something, man. It tastes good. <laughs> it tastes so good. <laughs> this is why I drink coffee way too fast. <laughs> and then why I feel jittery. Because it tastes amazing. <laughs> Creamer? Probably, probably. <laughs> it's amazing! I'm gonna be so hyper later! We can see everything from here. Sort of. Um. What is that red line? <gasps> it's gonna attack me. I'm gonna attack it first! Punk! Hazelnut creamer? Mm, it doesn't taste like hazelnut though. Ricky is Kino's dad in this game and he's the dad to Kino in that TV show. Oh wait, that is funny. <laughs> oh wait, that's really funny. I put a ton of French vanilla creamer in my coffee and it makes it taste way better. Mm. I'm wired on it at the moment. Oh god. Mm. 
Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Yeah, it is strange. Transporter, over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So somebody's already there? But how? Maybe somebody activated it. But who? In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. Hmm. The link between the teleporters? Oh, that's what the red line is? Oh, okay. Um, is it okay? Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that there was one here. Um, is it... If I do this, will I be able to, like, do other stuff in the game? Is there, like, a... A section where they're like, oh, point of no return kind of thing. Or is that not a thing? Oh my god, that Kirby backpack is so cute. Mm. Yeah, I just saw this quiet moment. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and do it real quick before I continue. I just now saw it. Well, where am I? If you visited Alchemoth after that cutscene in the main game, it would be full of Telethia. Which cutscene? If you visited Alchemoth after that cutscene in the main game, it would be full of Telethia. There's no point of no return? Okay, so I don't have to worry. Phew! That means I can relax and do this stuff at my own pace. I appreciate that there's moments that do that. Like, in games where there's points of no returns and it lets you know. I hate it when they don't let you know. And you're like, are you kidding me? Ooh! Okay, a life without visions. Oh, this one's Shulk. Hold on, I want it to be daytime. Alright, let's watch Shulk and Melia's quiet time memory. I like that it's called the quiet time. Uh, Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capsule like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty. It's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, who transformed into Telethia back then, and those who survived, feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then, my father and brother's expectations, calling me the hope of the High Entia. Mm. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Melia. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately. About what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Mm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look... You have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. 
I'm sorry. You're right. Mm. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose to all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. This is so I've sweet. been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear father lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin, but a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land, nay, not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. <laughs> yeah. If anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. So cute. Okay, um, you know one thing that I just like realized is this like everybody's every person's dream that didn't get the um Shulk and Melia um ship. <laughs> I feel like this is for everybody that liked both of them together, and this is I just like literally just realized this. I'm thinking that this, um, quiet, whatever, memory, whatever they're called. Like, this is, uh, this is a nice. Uh, granted, they're not, like, flirting or anything. But, you know, Fiora's not here. We got Melia and Shulk alone. You know? Hmm. Yeah, probably saying <laughs> some, qu some game out there would be like that. When Zanza comes back and everyone is in and Alchemoth is transforming, we can actually go back there? I didn't realize you could. Um. Hmm. I think Shulk and Melia need private time, so I'm kind of happy that we're getting the opportunity to do that in this epilogue. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Bill. Good morning. Happy Ramadan. Hello. Are you having a good Monday? All right. Now let's go all the way back up. Wait, can I get up there quickly? Sort of. Oh, nope. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get there faster. It's okay. Whole extra story feels like they wanted to give Melia a bone because of all the suffering she got through the main game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's throw her a bone. Yeah. <laughs> you can go back but can't teleport actually inside Alchemoth just to the transporter and Aerith see outside of it. Oh, I didn't even think about doing something like that. Well, it would have made me cry if I went there. So I'm happy I didn't. You know? I thought the same, but it would be weird to ship them. It is weird. 
I think it's for the people that just really wanted them to be together. And I guess didn't like Fiora, which I don't know how they couldn't like Fiora. Wording? Wait, did I say something weird? Hmm. So good. So, ooh, what's that? Ooh, is that the monster? There's Alchemoth. Look at, oh, geez. Whoa, it's crazy. Nobody has tried to, I guess they tried, but they all died. Whoa. We're on the cap, we're at the capital now, guys. It looks so different and so desolate. Sad. It's sad. It's good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. <laughs> Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. It looks what? like a tear or something. Look like hole like a rift in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. Is it from what? What do you mean, is it from... Oh, it... Well, actually, I really don't know. Oh, wait. It may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. We got it. We can fight him. scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and tell to face? Oh, no. Is it right behind us? <laughs> His little eyes. Nene, <laughs> big meanie. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who is that? A child's voice. Wait, it was a, that was a child. Um, there was one thing that I didn't do. Um, and that's to see the other area where the other high end teal are with the mech on. Are they gonna show us how to get there eventually? Because I didn't know where they were. It looks like Among Us, like whatever that creature is. What, the no pots? Where are the groundskeepers? <laughs> um, actually, reference the poor Melia meme. Wait, he did? What is the poor Melia meme? They're kind of powerful. Okay, so maybe it's a good thing I didn't go. Everyone I've watched has called it the Eye of Sauron. Oh. <laughs> kind of looks like the Eye of Sauron. This child was in the main game. He gave side quests to do with Telethi and Alchema. Oh, the one that we're about to see. Dry Dry? Highly extroverted! Pawn Spectre Dry Dry is named serving new lands in game. What brings friends around these parts? Dry Dry secretly follow bird people from far away to near away. And would friends guess it? Dry Dry only go and find bunch of bird people fe feathers. Dry Dry gas with emotion. Why? For one simple reason. With feathers, Dry Dry make winged hat head hat and become bird person all own self. Oh my god, what? Or such is planned anyway. For now, Dry Dry will not have enough feathers. Upper level and other side all pick clean. Should be some left on this side, maybe. Meh meh. Is dream of Dry Dry to become bird person. Please, for the sake of Dry Dry. <laughs> he wants to be a bird person. Bring feathers. Quickity split. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's so cute. Oh, Jamie. Thank you. How are you? Uh, well, not just stand there. Flock, dry dry some feathers. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. 
Hero Pond Kino will lend a little bit of Hero Pond power. You are truly an asset to the team, Kino. I expect great things. So cute. Is this a feather? No. I'll have to come back here. I want to see this child real quick. Is a meme that came about from Chug Chug Conroy, one of the most infamous Xenoblade Let's Players. I think specifically during the Shulk Fiora hand holding scene. And it kind of became a common phrase in the fandom. Hand holding scene? Poor Melia. Uh, it is worth to do the no pawn quests. Yeah, I wanna I wanna do them. Do I have to do it right now, or can I come back and do it? I don't even know. Oh, it's like over there. I wanted to see what's going on with this. The music is intense, man. I want to know what's going on. Let me focus on this, and then I can help him. I'm doing good, Jamie. Hope you had a good Easter or good weekend. Where they run past everyone when headed to the Apoco Crypto Generator? Oh, did I miss it? Did I miss them holding hands? That sounds some like something that I shouldn't miss. I can come back? Okay. Whoa! It's all like glitchy looking. The monster looks so weird. Over there. Whoa, look at it! <gasps> oh, it's a high Intia tile! Quickly. Whoa. Aww. How did the kid get Are here? Bro, focus on what's in front of you. We can talk later. We need to figure out how to close that rift. I'm guessing this is where it came from. It colored in that fluffy mist. So then, scary king of fog. Yeah, maybe so. I don't off. think so. That's definitely not it. They would not let me fight the big bad boss at the very beginning of the game. This is definitely not it. That was so cool. Holy cow. Nice. <laughs> She's so strong. Oh my god. From Nene. <laughs> King of Fog all cleared up. We can only hope. Uh. Look, the rift. Oh, they also call it the rift. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, it comes from that thing. That what about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what? What? Like we found our fog king. Oh, so this is yes, the fog. King. I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. No way. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Oh yeah, you're right. Melia, Kino, 
Eat face full of pain! Okay, this is gonna be tricky. How do you kill something that's... Oh, it's gone. King of fault, bright dust. <sighs> Does look like the Eye of Sauron. Huh. It is just as Maxis said then. Melia! Let's pull back! That would seem wise. I guess that's just to distract him. Yeah, okay. I was like, girl, that ain't pulling back, man. Huh. So it really is like a fog king thing. Courtney, thank you. I did have a wonderful Easter. Thank you. How are you? Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck he get told? <laughs> then I tripped over some rubble and... Uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. Oh, right. I was given special permission so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister? Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back. Yeah. Oh, hey. Think he'll be successful and... My lab's over on the far that end. That would be really sad there. if we could. You want to come with? We can talk more there. Where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked. Ah, oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Hmm. Makes sense. So there's multiple? Right. I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. <laughs> All right, see you. <laughs> hey, wait! Oh, wow, okay, oh, but he out of there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he run fast. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Boffins? Huh? Never heard that word before. He got told. He probably have it coming. <laughs> Those <gasps> damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. I knew he was evil. Or sus. Ah. The shop selling art manuals has opened. Ah. You can exchange art coins for art manuals to level up your favorite arts. Art coins? Um. Obtaining art coins. You may obtain art coins when defeating unique monsters and fog beasts. Defeating a given monster for the first time will always grant an arts coin. 
Ah. Arts coins received for unique monsters and fog beasts you defeat before the shop opens should already be in your possession. You can check the coins you own at the arts manual shop. Cool. Am I allowed to go back inside? Um, because I had that... I had that quest. I'm guessing I can. Hi, Stoutsy! And thank you again, Cordy, for the 53 months. Sorry, I had a pause. No pawn not afraid to lay the smack down. No, they aren't. She's using four elementals in a cutscene when we can only use three is cheating. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She did use four. <laughs> um, where are you supposed to go? Just this way? I guess just this way. It's a term that I heard a lot at school here in the UK. It basically means nerd. Really? Boffins? Like science nerd? Huh. Interesting. Why does it have... Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to get the feathers for this cute little nopon. Ooh, wow. It sounds really pretty in here. Is Melia 89 or 90? Is there a way to see? Um... Oh my god, it, look, it does tell them. It tells us how old they are. 10 2 is 18. Evelyn is 4. Deca Deca is 9. But that's the prospector. Can I can I know how old everybody else is? Like how old Nene is? If you can transform Telethia back, hopefully they they aren't high enough or high above the ground when it happens. Well, I'm sure we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't let that happen. The Fountain of Eternity. But it would just be sad because we had to kill so many Telethia. If there was legit a way to, like, save them, that would be so sad to know that we killed so many, you know? Like her, like her stepmom. Um, how to set quests. I'd imagine I can just, like, click on it or something. Oh, shoot. It's not their age, it's how long they've been inspectors. Oh, 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 it's how long they've been inspectors. Oh, I thought it was their age. <laughs> Never mind. Melia was 88 in the main game, but this is a year and a half later, so she's either 89 or 90. I hope they celebrate her birthday still. Oh god, am I gonna have to fight that thing too? I know, I thought, I thought, I thought it was <laughs> age four. <laughs> um, I'm wrong. Okay, so then we can go back to the entrance. Go into the quest and then the bumper. Which bumper? Oh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to go like this. Oh, set is active. Okay, I see it. You have to use the right bumper. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mama, mama, mama. Forissimo! This finally allowed Dry Dry to make head hat and finally become best friend of bird people! <laughs> oh, I kind of want to see him with the hat on. Topple plus. Nice. Feathers all collected, land all inspected, now to be rejoining 1-1. One -one. Friends did sterling job with fe feather finding. Surely can also find 1-1 one -one in 1 GIF, 2 GIF tops. Right, try join you with a Pablo... Apollo? What? 1-1 one -one choose 
there this place for prospecting on whim, but seems it was inspired choice after all. Maybe slogan we repeat every day is also same kind of deal? One one is spectacular leader, naturally come up with spectacular catchphrasings. We measure, find treasure, pawn specters till we die. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute. Oh, the red one. Nice. Union strikes by befriending pawn specters from all three teams. You have unlocked the ability to perform a special coordinated attack, the union strike. Doing so requires spinning three bars of the party gauge, but it deals damage to enemies in a wide area and has extra effects. There are three variations to choose from, each with extra effects. The red deals major damage, blue is heal and grant regen and debuff immunity. That's pretty nice. Yellow is force daze and strength down on enemies in area. The more pawn specters you're able to befriend, the more powerful their union strike will become. When you use a union strike while all three allies are capable of acting freely, an extra chance may sometimes occur. An extra chance lets you perform another union strike without using the party gauge. You cannot you, you cannot choose the same effect extra effect. Oh, okay, so you have to change it. That's fun. The probability of extra chance occurring is higher the more pawn specters are in the state of high tension. After a union strike, the party's tension will go up. While all pawn specters in a state of high tension will revert to normal. Gotcha. How fun is that? <laughs> Adam! Hi, Adam! <gasps> okay. Where do I need to go now? Um, I think they teleported me here. I probably should pause here. I feel like this is a good place to pause my game. Because I need to go get lunch. And then we also are going to be playing Final Fantasy X today as well. So I think maybe right here would be a good place to just pause since we already have like so many crazy things happening. All right, we need to head to that kids um, thing. Okay, so I'll just save. New save file. Yay. And then you, when you get back to the field, you can press the R to swap whether or not your dotted line is a story or yellow. Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, I'll have to try the union strike later. I don't think I can do it now. Not a bad, bad place to stop, to be fair. I think so, too. I think it was a really good spot. Okay, Adam's just in time. It's like Adam comes specifically for the... Words on stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let me get it organized. For those of you that don't know what's going on, um, around this time, around lunchtime, I go and take a 30 minute break so that I can eat lunch and then I can come back refreshed and energized so that we can stream for more hours or play more games. Um, so I usually go on a BRB screen. I'll show you. I have a timer that lets you know when I'll be back. And then I also have a game called Words on Stream that you guys can play while I'm gone. And then when I'm back, we will switch and play some Final Fantasy X for the rest of the afternoon. Sound good? Okay, let me get this all organized. <clears throat> but yeah, great timing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's a good stopping point. Wow, spooky. <laughs> okay. All right. I will be back um, in 30 minutes, guys. Remember to also take a break and get up and stretch if you haven't. And take your vitamins if you haven't. Okay. I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Good luck in the game. See you soon.